A match? So, looks like those caterpillars have been eating fritillated flag beetles. Whatever they are. Something? Well, it looks to me like those caterpillars have been eating nothing but fritillated flag beetles? Fritillated flag beetles? No. No, that's not possible. I've never even heard of a fritillated flag beetle. The fritillated flag beetle is a relatively minor species in this area. But if your analysis is correct, that means they're multiplying at an even greater rate than the Norsebana are. The question is, why? Fame and fortune just got put on hold, Nancy. We can't go public with this until I figure out what the heck is going on. Where are you going? Up. I do my best thinking when my feet aren't touching the ground. Don't ask me why. I've carried you long enough, Nancy. You're on your own. Oh, wait a sec. I know what you can do. There's a metal ring inside my pack. I found it at Kapu Cave when I was setting up... Nose ring, of course. I can move his teeth now. Frank? Well, hi, it's Nancy. Sorry, guess I expected Joe to answer. Well, as it happens, Joe's at the clinic getting treated for a concussion. What? What happened? Someone jumped him while he was poking around Big Island Mike's Immersion Center. Just after he left that message for you, in fact. Turned around and wham! Gets knocked unconscious by someone swinging a big wooden mask. Is he gonna be okay? He'll be fine. The doctors are just doing their usual observation thing. Joe knows the drill. So what's going on with you? Well, let's see. Phew! This Quigley lady sounds like she's gonna be a real taskmaster. Anything I can do to help? Nope. So far, so good. But I discovered something that you might be interested in. Oh, yeah? Well, I was taking kind of an unauthorized tour of the Healy Healy While Research Center. While you were Center. snooping. While I was snooping, I came across the name of the person Malachi Craven is working for. Richard Akins. Our Richard Akins? Of Akins Biotech? Yep. Wow, that is interesting. I'm not sure what it means, but it's certainly food for thought. Might be just a coincidence. Anyway, if I find out anything else, I'll let you know. Yeah, please do. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Frank, how's your brother? You back from the clinic yet? No, they wanted to keep him under observation for a while. But he'll be fine. Joe's nothing if not hard-headed. Any idea who clobbered him? Like I told the cops, probably just some bum who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. Does that happen a lot? Couple times a year. 
As soon as they see me, they run like heck, but today I wasn't around, so... Somebody figured he'd help himself. Is anything missing? Nope, not a thing. Look, whoever the guy was, he's no richer, I'm no poorer. He's gone, I'm here, no big deal. Well, except for your brother getting walloped like that. Do the police have any leads? Nah, real low priority case for them. The one guy I talked to barely looked around. But hey, you want to look around? Play detective like on TV? You go right ahead. Good talking to you. Anytime. a receipt from your shop that somebody dropped. I'd kind of like to find that person, so I just wondered if you could maybe tell me who you wrote it out to. Sure. What's the number? It's receipt number 57441. Hang on. I don't know him at all. Total stranger. Well, you're not the only one who'd like to find him. Turns out the stuff I bought off of him was stolen. Cops are looking for this guy, too. Name's Johnny Kuto. Apparently he's got a pretty nice career going for him as a freelance thief. Address he gave me turned out to be bogus. Gave me a cell phone number, too, but he never picks up. Think you could give me Kuto's phone number? Got it right here. 808-555-9258. Good luck getting him to return your call. Hey, I really appreciate your help. Anytime. Mahalo. Want something else? Is this your pawn ticket? I found it over there. Never seen it before. Then maybe it belonged to the guy who clobbered Joe. Or maybe it's been lying there for weeks. The guy who cleans this place doesn't exactly keep it spotless. Namely, me. Ever heard of a guy named Johnny Kudo? Never heard of him. You ever work with somebody named Johnny Kudo? Or maybe he took one of your excursions? Why are you asking? I think he may be the guy who clobbered Joe. Playing Kojak, huh? Well, I wish I knew something about this Kudo guy, but I don't. Good talking to you. Anytime. This looks like it might be kind of fun. Looks like I'm gonna need money to operate this thing. Hey, Johnny. You don't know me, but you know my brother. He's the one you slugged when you were at Big Island Mike's. I know what you two have been up to. So if you're smart, you'll give me a call. 280-555-7263. Hello? This is Kudo. What do you want? Mostly I want to know why you slugged my brother. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the thing you got going with Mapu. Hey, I've got nothing going with that overgrown jerk. The guy double-crossed me, okay? We had a deal. I came through, he didn't. So I went looking for a way to even the score. Your brother was in the wrong place at the wrong time, that's all.
What was it Mapu paid you to steal for him? You don't know anything about this, do you? Hey, I know all about it. In fact... No, wait! Hello? Hello? You there? Shoot. Hey Frank, how's Joe doing? He's still at the clinic, but he'll be fine. Nothing like that's ever happened to a guest before, ever. You're not gonna, like, sue us or anything, are you? Nah. That's a relief. Is it true you'll buy these fish from me? Let's see. Looking good. There you go. Okay, what else? I'm not sure how to tell you this, but I have reason to believe your dad is involved in something he shouldn't be. What do you mean? Like what? Like hiding, or maybe even fencing stolen property for someone. What? Look, it's a real, real long story, and I can't prove anything, so you don't really have to worry. But if he was, say, trying to hide a bunch of stuff for somebody, where do you suppose he'd put it? Oh my gosh, the chamber. That's what he's been doing in there. This island is riddled with lava tubes, tunnels made by ancient volcanoes. They go all over the place. My dad knows them all. Lately, he's been spending a lot of time in one of them. He calls it the chamber because it's so big, but he refused to tell me what he's been doing. I was going to sneak down there and see for myself, but the earthquake caused this huge cave-in near the entrance. I can't get past it, but neither can my dad. So, whatever he's been keeping down there is still- There's no other way to get into this chamber thing? Yes, there is. From the water. It says so on this old chart my dad has. Think I could see it? The chart? Sure. The problem is, you can't just snorkel to the entrance. You have to ride different currents to get there. The chart supposedly says how to do that, but I've never been able to figure it out. But if you can figure it out, you might be able to find the entrance. But if you do, and it turns out that my dad is doing something illegal, I want you to promise me that you won't call the police without talking to me first. Deal. I promise I won't call the police. Say it. I promise I won't call the police unless I talk to you first. Okay? Okay. The chart's in that old trunk in the immersion center. To open it, you'll need to know what my father calls his favorite flavor of shave ice. I can never remember, so you'll have to ask him. Just don't make me sorry I trusted you. There. That hit the spot. Hey, what's going on? I'm curious. What's your favorite flavor of shave ice? Tell you what. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to make you guess. You make me a shave ice and bring it back here. If it's my favorite flavor or combination of flavors, I'll tell you. If it's not, well... You'll just have to keep making them till you get it right. I think I can handle that. Like I always say, a busy customer is a happy customer. Good talking to you. Catch you later.
That should do it. Now I'll just take this to Big Island Mike and hope that it's his favorite flavor. Want something else? Got a shave ice for you to try. Let's have it. <sighs> mm, you got two of the flavors, right? Try again. we go. Let's see if this is Big Island Mike's favorite flavor. Want something else? Got another shave ice for you. Let's have it. <sighs> you did it. That was my favorite flavor combination. Lime, coconut, and mango. I call it Honey Awa. That's Hawaiian for sour kiss. Thanks for your help. Catch you later.
Awake it, 